For many new parents, finding a babysitter or a daycare center for your child can be a stressful process, and many parents may not know where to start. We sit down with Amanda Larios, a social worker in case management at Community Regional, and she provides parents and caregivers with a babysitting blueprint to help make that decision for your child. When it comes to a child, parents and caregivers would do whatever it takes to make sure care outside of their own is the very best. Families have different needs for child care, whether that's in-home babysitting, um, whether that's a daycare facility, and it also depends on like the age of your children. That's why it can sometimes be difficult finding the child care that fits just right. Some families don't have a choice and they have to go back to work, and so that kind of presents that first um, that first opportunity for their child to be at a daycare or have a babysitter in the home. Amanda Larios, a social worker in case management and social services at Community Regional, says parents and caregivers can start by accessing free help and asking simple questions. We have an organization here in Fresno County called Children's Services Network. Um, that's really a good resource if you have like no idea where to start. Um, they provide help to families for referrals for daycares, um, and it's at no cost to the families. Something else that could work for families is word of mouth. I mean, asking family or friends who have kids where they take their children. You'll probably want someone who's cer CPR certified. Uh, that's important so that if there ever were an emergency, uh, how many kids will also be present in the home. Uh, but if, you're, if they're coming to your home, you also want to make sure that uh, safety-wise, like you don't have any concerns uh, about them or your home. Parents comfort level and the needs of the child may also play a part to choice in child care. You may want to ask what experience they've had babysitting, um, how many kids they've babysat in the past, any previous experiences they've had with families. Um, if it's someone who's you know, more of a seasoned babysitter asking for references so that they can call other families who have worked with this person. If you see their temperament with children, um, do they do they feel like they have the right to discipline your child? Um, you know, what do they do if an incident occurs in their home? But ultimately, I think parents can kind of just use their best judgment. Overall, Amanda encourages parents saying having a safe space for child care allows for sometimes much needed personal space for parents as well. I think a lot of times we just put our kids first and we kind of allow ourselves to be on the back burner. I know that a lot of parents love and would do anything for their children, which is amazing, but you also have to feed that same energy into yourself. Because um, if you're not at your best, then you can't provide your best for your kids. For more information, utilize the free resources of Children's Services Network to help find a babysitter or daycare that is right for you and your child.